no, 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 I think it's working now. Hello, hello, everyone. Oh, wait for screaming and cheers to die down. It's such an honor uh, to be here with you at New York Comic Con. Woo! Um, when Neil and Douglas uh, asked if I could zoom in and, um, you know, answer some questions and talk a bit about good omens, I, I'll be honest with you, I hesitated, you know. Um, I'm very busy doing important things. But then they said, Michael, you're the star, you're the person, everyone's come here to see, your name was up on the screen on series one, a full second before David's was, we need you. Um, and so I was persuaded. Um, so, uh, without any hesitation, um, the first question here comes mm. from... Is this? Oh. Oh, hello! New York Comic Con! Oh, how lovely to be here, everyone! When Neil and Douglas asked me to be here, I said, well, I'm actually rehearsing for a play right now, but they said... Did they tell you you were the star? Uh, uh yeah, well... They pointed that out. Hello, Michael. But they also said, you know, I'm the Doctor. I'm the lovable Scottish rogue from Staged. Hello, New York Comic Con. Oh, there's John. John. Uh, did, uh, did Neil and Douglas tell you that you were the star of Good Omens? No, he did not. He did not mention that to me. Well, that's a relief. They did uh, just point out to me, however, that I had the most brand recognition in America, and I guess I'm just the one that everyone uh, cared about. Oh. My name's John Hamm, and I'm in Top Gun. <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> well, we're here now. So, uh, the first question that came in from Twitter is, how did you find out that there was going to be a Good Omen season two? And how did you find out that you were going to be part of it? I think Michael and I probably found out at the same time um, from Neil, didn't we? There was always a sort of hope at the end of season one that there might be more story to tell or the beginnings of a suggestion that there might be more story to tell. I think, you know, it was certainly put to us, the idea of doing more. And, um, you know, how could you say no um, with Neil at the helm? Uh, and Douglas, um, uh, and to, to get to be able to work with um, with John Hamm again. I remember talking to Neil about it uh, while we were doing press for the first season, and it sounded very exciting uh, and a very uh, interesting potentiality, uh, but I didn't realize there would be one. And then COVID happened, and Neil was stuck in... Uh, the, the, the Antipodes somewhere, and uh, he told me he had this wonderful idea that I would start by walking down the street in Soho completely nude, and I thought, well, that's a great way to start things, and he sent me a beginning of a, a scene where Gabriel does not recognize How did I find out that I was going to be part of it? Well, I, I, I mean, I'll, I'm, gonna, I'm just going to say it. Um... I'd have been very upset if I wasn't. <laughs> if, if they'd said, we're doing Good Omens season two, but there's not going to be any Aziraphale in it. That would have been... Uh, that, although I know David did canvas very hard for that. Um, but, uh, you know, obviously, gladly, um, his words fell on deaf ears. What's next? Okay, uh, were you guys fans of Good Omens, the book, and... What was it like for you to be a part of it? Um, so I was a big fan of the book um, from the moment it came out. Um, I'm not sure David has even read it yet, to be honest. I mean, maybe you could ask him that. No, I didn't know the book at all. Uh, I think I was the only person on earth who hadn't read it. Uh, so I didn't know it. And then um, being, uh, being attached to it, I suddenly realised how important it was to everybody. Um, <laughs> You what, Baba? But it's been a great joy to get to know how much people love this book and how much it means to them. And that mostly we seem to not have broken their dreams, but only enhanced them. I hope that continues. Having Neil 
at the very centre of it was a massive help because you feel like, well, we're in safe hands. Um, and 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 seeing and knowing how much he and Douglas both um, cared and respected the source material, but also were open to new ideas and very much about um, being uh, uh, protective of Terry as well and representing Terry um, and, uh, and making sure that Terry was very much a presence um, within it. So, um, yes, yeah, so it was, and it was just a wonderful experience. And then to see the reaction that people had was, was just great um, and, and a relief. That it. All right, guys, that was fun. Can we do it again, please? Guys?